do you support vouchers that use taxpayer money to essentially fund private, mostly religious, schools? Two minutes to uh, answer the yes or no question. Correct. Okay. So you don't have to use the whole two minutes. It's not required. I support the student. All right. This is a fundamental difference between me and uh, probably uh, most politicians because I believe that education is what students are seeking. And so the state dollar should fund the student. Okay? In contrast to funding the school, property taxes fund the school. Property taxes fund the school. And I'll just uh, uh, relate this to a decision that I had to make. There are certain things that our public school systems do not do well. I don't think that they teach foreign language at the appropriate developmental years. And I had to make a decision between sending my children to private school, in which I would pay the full bill, or they would get the Spanish language or foreign language education, uh, versus uh, public school. And it was a tough decision. It was a tough decision. But it was economic. It was monetary. It wasn't religious-based. It was monetary. I chose to send them to public school. And they're getting a great education, but they're missing one component, foreign language. It is that important to me that I wanted to send them to a private, religious school just to get that foreign language. But economically, I couldn't make the math work. And actually, it's something that I still question to this day. I travel all around the world. In fact, just yesterday, I returned from Amsterdam. And three days before that, I was in Mumbai. Right? This is a global world that we live in. And I think that if, you know, we need to use, term, if we're going to use terminology like teach the complete student, okay? We actually have to do it, okay? A global student, global skills, global excellence. Our schools are failing us, and I think sometimes parents should have that option to send their kids to the school, the accredited school, which we do have multiple levels of accreditation, at the school that they want. So I think that uh, at the state level, it could be a voucher. Thank you. Yeah, I think, yeah, you know, on, on Iowa's quarter, it says education is priority. Well, my sense is over the last few years we've lost that concept. It really isn't a priority. And so uh, going forward, and I, I know that property taxes do play a portion of, of the K-12 funding, but a large percentage is what the state does with supplemental state aid. And partially why language programs aren't occurring is because the state funding is inadequate. Uh, so I think I think at the public schools we have to make sure that we have uh, the resources there uh, and you know one of the key things that I've seen in the publics is classroom size uh, just go into a classroom and see that you know we're continuing to increase those classroom sizes and, and creating uh, issues as far as the vouchers I know that it's been on the uh, up for debate concept that I think it, it's uh, something that we should look at but I, I just don't see how we can do it when we're when we're not even funding the, the public schools adequately so uh, and I guess the other point is that the state currently does provide dollars to the private schools I went to a Catholic school growing up so uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a problem for our schools whether public or private I, I think that, you know, we should be focused on making sure that each child has access to, whether it's in the public or private, quality education uh, going forward. I mean, without that education, uh, we end up having uh, problems develop for the child, and uh, work is difficult, and uh, oftentimes our prison systems uh, are Thank you.